I'm Jessica Gaudetin. This is your Monday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Well, we're looking at an interesting week here. High pressure is going to move back over the states. Not a great setup for storms, but we will sneak some moisture under the high, including a cold front into the northeast, which could help to fuel at least some storms throughout the midweek time frame. If we're going to see some showers, northeast will be a focusing point and possibly the southwest as well. Heading toward late week, we could well push a little area of low pressure in here. That would help us form a few more storms too. But for the most part here, our disappointing summer continues. The young woman accused of driving drunk and causing a crash that killed two of her friends pled not guilty this morning. Stephanie Mendez lost control of her car at the I-25 and Montano on-ramp last March and crashed into freeway traffic. Two of her friends were killed. The, she later tested very drunk. Mendez disappeared after she was indicted last month, but turned herself in last week in Farmington. An Albuquerque police officer pled not guilty today to aggravated DWI and criminal damage to property. Police say 30-year-old officer April Sanchez drove drunk in late July to her ex-husband's house, keyed his SUV, and broke his windshield. Her ex, an APD sergeant, called police. Sanchez resigned two days later. She was released without bail. Drought is hitting New Mexico cattle ranchers hard, especially on the east side. Until recently, there's been almost no rain there for most of the year. The long grass that ranchers rely on to feed their cattle didn't grow this year. Buying hay, if you can find it, is very expensive, and many ranchers are selling their stock. Some are getting rid of their entire herds. The good news for the ranchers is that cattle prices are high. Join us for more news.